Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today I want to show how to rename your inputs and outputs on your TriCaster. Now this will take out the guesswork in trying to find out what input is going to correspond to what video source you have coming in and vice versa on the output side of things. So let's dive in and take a look. All right, so here we are in the TriCaster TC1 interface, and the first thing that I want to show is where you can go to rename your inputs. Because whenever you're doing a live broadcast, you're looking through all these inputs here, and then you have to remember, all right, which is my shot that Richard Evans is in myself, and then have to remember, all right, I'm on ME1, and then click to it kind of thing. And even when I've done my own broadcast out in the field, there's sometimes where I'll make a mistake and go, that wasn't the right input. So I'll make it easier on myself and just rename the input altogether. So to do that, you just go to the input that you want to use. So I'm going to do that in my input. So I'm on my mix effect number one. So let's click on the gear icon right over here. And that opens up the input window uh, for the settings of that particular input. Now from here, I can rename the input directly beneath the preview window for that. So I'll just put my own name in here. Awesome. And so now I have an input uh, named with my name. But I also want to make a corresponding button on my switcher to match that as well. So let's go ahead and I'll type my name in there and hit close. And now if we take a look over on my program row, you'll see that my mix effect number one button has now been renamed to Richard. But of course, that's a little bit long because that's a small button in there. So let's make a little shortcut for that. Uh, so you only have a few characters to work with there. Uh, so let's say we'll just name that Rich instead. All caps. Boom. Now, I won't get confused. I won't say, oh, I need to go to my input one. And if I do that, that's just me on my green screen here that I have keyed out. But if I go over to Rich, I know exactly the shot that I need to use. Now, you can also do the same method for renaming your outputs. Now, this is very useful. Uh, if you go to the output configuration of your TriCaster, which will appear on the gear icon next to your program output. We'll open that up, and under your output configuration, you have your mix one, two, three, and four sources here. All right, cool. But you can see the way that I currently have this set up is my mix number one is recording my program output, but then I have mix number two recording my input number one, and mix number three recording my input number two. That can get kind of confusing with the numbers that these are going on through here. So let's go ahead and just rename those sources altogether. So uh, from here, I'll just call this one program. Now you see, like I said here, uh, I only have a few different um, characters for me to choose from. So let's make a little adjustment to there and we'll make it shorter. All right, so that one will say prog. And then my input, or sorry, my mix two, let's just title that input one. I'll make that short, just in one and in two. All right. Now, let me show you a reason why this is very useful. So if we go to the top of the screen here to set up our recordings, uh, I have now my mix one has been renamed my program. But let's say I want to add some more recordings to this. So now I can have it set up to where I have my uh, secondary recordings named exactly what I need them to be. So. Now you'll see at the top of the screen when I'm doing my recordings, I now know that I am recording my program input one and input two, not mix one, mix two, mix three. That can get confusing and make you a little paranoid that you're not recording the right thing. Now this is also very useful whenever you want to uh, record a, a replay on the TriCaster, which I've mentioned in a previous video. Uh, so let me show you how to do that now. So we'll go ahead and just hit record here at the top. And let's say I just want to get a replay of my program output. So before I had to remember which one was it on, mix one, mix two, mix three, or I can just say click program, boop, boom. And then down over in DDR1, I now have my replay ready to go. So as you can see, using this method makes it a lot easier to remember what source is coming in on what input, et cetera. Now, if you like this tutorial but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo to sign up for your personalized demonstration by yours truly, and I'll show you all the ins and outs of the TriCaster systems. Also, be sure to follow us and tag us in your Instagram posts, and subscribe to our YouTube page for more videos like this and more at youtube.com slash newtechinc. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.